I have a part with a slot in it and both these jaws, my middle part and my end part, all sit inside the slot. If in my design I decide to change the slot width, I would like all of these dependent features to change with it. To do that I'm going to create a global variable. So first I'm going to open up the base. And I'm going to go to the Tools menu and down to Equations and I'm going to create an equation called Slot Width under the global variable. To add a global variable I'm just going to click in the box and in quotes I will put the name of the global variable. I'll click in the value field and tell it it equals three quarters, the width of the slot I want. And I would like this to be available to the other parts. To do that I have to turn on link to external file. And I can link to an existing file or I can create a new file. So I'm going to create a new file called equations. And that text folder will automatically be saved where I'm saving all my parts by default. The equation is that the word or the value slot width equals 0.75. I'm going to tell it to link that. So I'll say OK. And again, I'll say OK. And I'll double click in my part so I bring up my dimensions. And I'm going to take my slot width here and I'm going to name it slot width. And go OK. And once more, I'm going to double click on the part. And now I'm going to edit this dimension. So with the dimension highlighting, I'm going to press equals. All my global variables will open up. And I have one called slot width. And I'll set it equal to the global variable slot width. Next, I want to click on this green check mark to see if this expression is good. And it is. Then I'll accept that. I get the equation symbol beside my dimension and I'll go to one of the other features that also share that dimension. So the jaws do. So in the jaws I have to do the same thing. I have to go to tools, equations. In this equation window I'm going to turn on link to external file, browse to that file, So it has the correct file. Shows here it's linking to the correct location. I'll go OK. Then I'll come back, double click on my part to open up its dimensions. I'm going to edit the three quarter width. And again, I'm going to set it equal to the global variable. And if global variables aren't here, I'll just close this. I'll go back into my equation editor. Up here are my global variables. So I'll have to remember to type slot width in the quotes. If I tab across, once again, that equals three quarters. I want to turn on the link to external. This is grayed out because it's linked to the original global variable in this equation. Select OK. Double click on my part to bring up the dimensions again and edit the three quarters. So it's going to equal from the global variables the slot width. Check the equation is OK and accept the dimension. My di limit dimensioning format is maintained. And I'll rebuild and save these. And I've created a global variable. If I now change the 3 quarter and 1, it'll change in all that are linked.